All right, so Melanie's up. She says, hey guys, I've been using JSON ID schema for some time, but I've never learned how to use the same as tag for local businesses. It has an ad ID, which I don't know where I'm confused what to put. Could you please help me out? It's a great question, Melanie. Okay, so the same as is essentially, uh, it's a way to tell Google what other properties represent your brand. Does that make sense? Or the brand that you're promoting for that project, if that makes sense. So uh, same as would be like you would list uh, and same as the Facebook page, the Twitter profile, YouTube channel, Google Plus page, Instagram if you have it. Uh, you know, citations, if it's for local businesses, you could be listing your Yelp URL, right? Your Yelp profile, uh, yellow pages, super pages, Angie's list, you know, all of those Brown book, you know, all of those are different ones. If you're doing press releases and you have a company page or an organization page or what we call a newsroom, right? That's another great one. I, I, I talk about that right now specifically because we just got off the webinar with press advantage and they produce beautiful beautiful company pages that have a lot of SEO value. So those are great branded tier one properties or what can be used as what's called same as, right? So if you're familiar with our syndication academy, we we set up or syndication networks that you can buy from our MGY, or I don't think we can buy them there yet. We don't have syndication networks in MGYB yet, do we? No, we don't. I know we don't. Yeah, Never as, mind. as of October 1st, we will. Okay. Well, either way, if you purchase a syndication network, build it yourself or whatever, uh, you're going to set up a, a network of branded properties and all of those properties could potentially be listed as same as properties. Okay. So that's all it is. It's just telling Google, Hey, these are our, this is our brand on these other platforms as well. Okay. And it's a way to tell Google like, Hey, recognize us over here too. give us credit for all of these, uh, properties that were mentioned on. Does that make sense? So it's very, very powerful, guys. That's why interlinking works so well. You know, people, so many SEOs used, I, I remember for many years, SEO was all about hiding footprints and there's still a lot, a lot to that. There's no doubt. But uh, syndication networks kind of like was, was counterintuitive because we would go out and set up all these uh, properties that we would link back to our brand and we weren't trying to hide footprints. We were claiming our footprint. We were literally broadcasting our footprint out to the world saying, Hey, this is us. And this is us everywhere. And it started to work. And uh, it was very counterintuitive when it first, when I first implemented that strategy many years ago now, uh, but it just continued to work and work and work. And now it's pretty much now uh, uh, the same as attributes in JSON LD schema or structured data uh, proves why that works, right? It proves that Google wants to see and wants to know that a brand has a big footprint. That makes sense. The bigger the footprint, the more authoritative it is, so to speak. Okay. So again, that's that's what uh, same as tags are for. Now, an ad ID stuff. That's before, a little bit different. Go ahead. Before, Sorry. before you get into the ad ID, Melanie, go to the Semantic Mastery page, right click on it, view the page source, and you can view how we've set up our our uh, JSON LD schema. It validates, so it's working perfectly well. You can work off of that, or you can use all sorts of schema generators that are online. J Jason LD schema generators. I, I forget who the, who this guy is, but I'll, I'll find the link in a bit and, and post it up top. I mean, you can generate your own. Now, uh, uh, it's it's really simple. Nothing complex about it. You're just giving Google bot information about your company and everything that's related to your company or your website. Go ahead, Bradley, on on the ad ID. Okay, so ad ID is a great question on that too. So uh, for a long time, for I don't know, a year or something like that, many, many months anyways, um, I didn't really understand what ad ID was for either. And so all I was told was that for the ad ID uh, field in the structured data for local business that you would put just the homepage URL of your website, of your money site, okay? However, I came across this article when it was published, whichever, whatever that was, it's an SEM rush article. It was published in July of last year. And, uh, well, I, I didn't come across this last year. I came across it more recently than that. Um, but within the last, I don't know, six months or, uh, well, in fact, I did the local iframe loop training in syndication Academy based upon, which is about ad ID pages. And that was in February of this year. So, uh, I believe I came across this, um, article in December or January. Um, so anyways, when I came across this article, it says, are there other values for at ID at, at type corporation? And then a little bit further down where it says, what is this at ID? Okay. And it was talking about this. I was just reading through this entire article and I got to this section about what is this at ID? 
right? So it, it was saying basically, what is this? And, and that was a question I had always had. In fact, we had Ryan Rodden on, uh, who's a schema, schema pro. I think that's actually what his website name is. Um, schema pro or schema dot pro or something like that. Anyways, he, uh, he was a schema ninja and, and he even at the time he came on our mastermind and did a webinar with us. Even he said the ad ID, just put your homepage URL in. So that's all I would been doing. But when I came across this article, I read through it. I'm not going to read through it here, guys, but it talks about the ad ID page uh, or reference basically being like uh, somewhere to point Google to say, okay, this is where you can confirm all the information about our brand or about a company, about the brand. And so essentially an ad ID page becomes like a point of reference for the entity. So my understanding was I instantly, when I saw this, I said, that's the best explanation I've ever seen for uh, really the only explanation I ever saw for what an ad ID page is supposed to be. And it instantly clicked and made sense to me. I was like, ah, I can see where we can do some pretty nasty stuff with this. And so that's where I developed the local iframe loop method, which was, again, that's in the February 2018 update webinar for Syndication Academy. If you're not in Syndication Academy, go join it and you'll learn it. Um, or come join the mastermind. We talk about it there or in RYS Academy Reloaded. I think it, we might have also done it in uh, MGYB or excuse me, uh, local GMB Pro. Um, but anyways, it's a very, very powerful strategy because at ID pages, you can set up and do all kinds of nasty iframe stacking. I can't get into that here. But you can do some real nasty iframe stacking with ad ID pages and uh, just really, really cool stuff. So an ad ID page, typically what I do is I set up an HTML page that I upload to direct to the root of my domain on the server for wherever the web page is hosted. And I just use a simple HTML template because it's a static page. It's not a dynamic page. Or if it is dynamic, it will be updated via iframes. In other words, whatever I iframe into the HTML page will update dynamically um, anyways. But so it's a static page. It loads quickly. Uh, and I just add it to, like I said, it will be like, for example, I would add it to the directory of, so semanticmastery.com slash ID or ID.html would be the HTML, the ad ID page for Semantic Mastery. And now I have not created one for Semantic Mastery. I'm just using that as an example. And then that that would be my ad ID URL that I would reference in the structured data, right? So it'd be HTTPS uh, colon whatever semanticmastery.com slash ID.html. And it would be a simple HTML file, but it would have all of my name, address, and phone number, all of my same as attribute links. So in other words, all of my main uh, tier one branded profiles and top level citations would all be listed in hyperlink format on the page. And let's not give away too much more. Yeah. And then the iframes, and that's what I'm saying. And just the iframe stuff, which again, if you guys uh, aren't familiar with what you can do with iframes, come join RYS Academy. Cause that's where we talking about it the most. And some of the stuff that you can do in there is just insane. Okay. And that's all you got to do guys is just put all your company information on the ad ID page. And that becomes now kind of like a resource that Google will reference via structured data, right? Uh, the semantic web essentially. And it's going to always go reference that to confirm details or data for a particular brand or entity. All right. So just read through this article. It's a great article, by the way, you'll learn more about it. It's a good question. If we were picking winners, that would be a good one today.